are you a Huawei Nova 3i user? Then in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 tips for the Huawei Nova 3i. But keep in mind that some of these tips can be used on the Nova 3 as well as other Huawei devices. Hey, what's up guys? It's Banu here from Android.com. Let's go ahead and explore some awesome tips. The first tip is system navigation. For this, go to settings, system, and then system navigation. And from here, what you can actually do is you can change the nav bar. There are actually two main options. And apart from that, there is also an optional navigation dock. The first option is similar to the nav bar on Android Pie. And the second option is the navigation bar that we all know and love. Optionally, we also have this option of navigation dock, which is similar to assistive touch on an iPhone and you can completely control your device using that. If you actually get used to this, you can completely disable the main navigation bar and completely use the navigation dock every single time. If you use the single key navigation, the controls are pretty simple and it's pretty convenient if you start using it. There is also an auto hide feature. So you have all the real estate of the screen because the nav bar will be hidden. With the small bezels on the Nova 3i, this makes the device look damn good. For an instance, just touching on it will take you back. Holding on it will take you home. And just sliding right or left will open the multitasking tray. If that is not for you, you can always use the 3K navigation that we all are familiar with and even have a little twist to it and add this option where you can easily pull down the notification so you can select whatever option suits you. I actually like the fact that Huawei has actually given us the flexibility to change it this way and hopefully in the future there will be more options for us to customize this even further by having our custom commands. The second tip is simple mode. Now, when you actually activate the simple mode on your device, you will actually feel like you're using a Windows phone. That's right, the simple mode on Huawei devices look quite similar to the Windows style tiles on Windows phone. The whole idea of this is to make everything simple. So you can easily add any application onto the home screen. Just like this, you can go and add any application. For an example, I will go ahead and add Instagram here and uh, the app is added. From there, you can actually open it. If you notice, actually the font sizes of some of these applications have also increased and there is a dedicated settings page that is different, completely redesigned for the simple mode with just simple options and it's pretty neat and convenient. All the main options can be found in these styles and you can easily go ahead and rearrange those any way you want. The third tip is app launch. Managing your app launch times manually will actually help you get better battery life on your device because you have full control over what applications will be opening every single time. So just go ahead and have a look at all these applications. These are everything that's installed on your device. You can easily go ahead and turn it on or off and then you can manage manually each of these options. So you have full control over what you're doing and if you want very good battery life, you can go ahead and disable all of these and only enable what you actually need. But keep in mind when you're adjusting these, because if you're too aggressive, you might miss out on some notifications and whatnot. The fourth tip is app lock. I know so many people who love to install third party lock applications to lock apps on your phone. But with the Nova 3i, you actually don't need a separate application. That's right. App lock is built right into the device. So you can make full use of that just by going into settings and app lock. And then from here, you can enable it for any application. So without app lock, messages just opens. But if I just go into settings and enable app lock for messages and then go and try to open messages, it won't open without the password. But as soon as I hit 0000, it opens up plain and simple. The next tip is motion control. You can find this under smart assistance and under motion control, you have four main options. That is flip, pick up, raise to ear and three finger screenshot. So with flip, you can mute and stop vibration from incoming calls easily just by flipping your phone. With pick up, just by picking up your phone, the ringtone volume will just go down. That's awesome. Raise to ear will allow you to actually just keep your phone when it's ringing without pressing anything on the screen to answer a phone call. So you can adjust these settings manually. 
and finally three finger screenshot is pretty awesome because you can just use three fingers to take a screenshot anywhere no matter what you're doing just slide down with three fingers if this is enabled it will work across all your screens so that's pretty awesome no matter where you are just slide down with three fingers and you have a screenshot and pro tip remember you can always edit a screenshot crop it or write anything on it and do whatever change you want and save it before actually sharing the screenshot so these motion controls are pretty sweet the next tip is mini screen view did you actually know that huawei has a mini screen view that you can actually use to shrink your screen completely yeah all you have to do is just slide on the main home screen button on the device and this will open up a mini screen view so you can slide to the left or right you can also slide up diagonally but that actually never worked for me so i just keep using the home button to just slide across and it works every single time so you can just touch outside to exit mini view and the advantage here is by using this you can actually use your device single-handedly without any issue so you can reach the top of your device without any problems by using this if not you actually might need two hands or you might have to try a bit harder to reach the top if you want better battery life on your nova 3i the next tip is for you remember every time you want superb battery life on your device just go ahead and enable the ultra power saving mode this will actually enhance your battery life a lot this will actually cut down on a lot of things so don't expect great performance but if you're running low on juice and if you really really want to get through with it then the ultra power saving mode will actually help you a ton it will have some pretty aggressive management with the battery and it will have a separate home screen with just six apps you can add any application that you want to this list and uh, it's pretty simple you also have the option to easily edit by edit timing just get rid of any application on the home screen and add any application that you want Honestly though, the best part about the ultra power saving mode on the Nova 3i is how easy it is to get in and get out of ultra power saving mode because it's just a tap away. On some phones, it takes forever to load the ultra power saving mode, but on this, it simply loads. The next tip is lock screen covers. So with this, on your home screen, just slide up and there will be some awesome shortcuts like your calculator. It's simply there and it's instant every single time just open it up or how about this you can easily go ahead and turn on the flashlight that's right just with a single tap or if you want to scan a qr code you can easily go ahead and do that too you just have to tap on that and then you can scan any qr code with your device all of this without even actually unlocking the phone the next time when you're in a hurry keep in mind to use these shortcuts in the lock screen the next tip that i have for you are changing magazine style wallpapers so you can actually enable these wallpapers from the lock screen settings and if you enable the wallpapers to change around it will make a pretty cool effect but what's awesome here is from my previous tip if you just open up that shortcut window there are also some options for you to actually play and pause the wallpapers you can actually remove that cover you can actually share these covers you can save the cover if you heart it it will get saved into the gallery and uh, there are some pretty cool options like that so if you love a wallpaper you can easily heart it and save it to your gallery to use later and from the setting window there are options for you to select the styles and the wallpapers that you actually want these are actually categories so you can go ahead and select the categories that you want and the categories that you don't want and also you can press on the update button and it will grab the latest wallpapers that are available so you can find all of these settings under settings screen lock and passwords and then covers the final tip that i have for you is qmoji this is a brand new feature on the nova 3i and this is similar to animoji on iphones there are actually some characters that are available so you can switch between these characters and illustrate yourself with this animated character you can actually position yourself properly and hit on the record button and it will start recording apart from the 3d q emojis there are other effects and other backgrounds and also 3d objects that are available so you can go ahead and play around with these and see how you can make something awesome out of this 
if you are a bit creative you can actually do some pretty amazing stuff with it and whatever you record you can easily go ahead and visit your gallery and view it and export it out as a video well guys those are some amazing tips if you are using the huawei nova 3i like i mentioned before some of these tips will work on other huawei devices as well so if you have a huawei device definitely go ahead and check out these features and see what's available for you or not definitely share this video with anyone who's using a huawei device if you are new to my channel and if you found this video useful definitely go ahead and smash that like button and hit on that subscribe button right now and hit on that notification bell icon next to the subscribe button as well to be notified of my future uploads. I have a ton of Huawei Nova 3i coverage coming right here in my channel. So definitely drop a comment down below with your favorite tip and if there are any other tips that you would like to share with the community. Follow me on social media. I am at Android Dollar. I'm pretty active over there. So you can find all the links down below in the description. Stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu.